Hello all, uh, Vinod here from Entrance Engineering Academy. Before going into the video, I just want to uh, say a few things about uh, Entrance Engineering Academy. So EEA is an online gate preparation portal and we offer full course for gate ME and XE. In addition to that, uh, subject courses are also available for ME, XE, CE and PI. Engineering Mathematics course is available for all stream and in addition to that, we offer online test series for gate ME and XE also. So this is our website you can just check out so that you will get to know more about us and in addition we have our own android app and also ios app and you can just go through that also to know more about our courses okay and this is our last year that is gate 2021 result from xe hello all we know here from endurance engineering academy so uh, this video is going to consist of only one suggestion okay which i wanted to give you because uh, uh, when I was preparing, I faced the problem with this particular subject, okay, that is manufacturing engineering or you can call it as production engineering. A subject which is going to consist of more theories compared to problems and uh, generally those students who are preparing for a gate, okay, and, the, uh, and of course the exams which is related to gate such as engineering service or uh, any technical public sector exams, uh, production is a subject which they are not that much interested in because it contains more theory because the students will be more oriented towards problematic approach they will be solving more and more of numericals instead of and also the concepts conceptual approach some something like some subjects like thermodynamic heat transfer or strength of materials they will be more keen about concepts and also they will be more keen about numericals instead of concentrating on theory obviously those subjects are subjects which is going to be in that manner only but when it comes to production manufacturing engineering or production engineering a subject itself an ocean and in that ocean many theories are there many processes many terms many geometries i have to define the geometry of the tool i need to define geometry of the dr drilling tool Except many many theories okay instead of uh, saying about uh, uh, numericals more theories only will be there in a particular chapter numericals will be there of course because if you ask me gate if you take gate it's going to contain um, more than 50 percentage of numerical and less than 50 percentage of theory okay especially in one mark question they are going to ask you theory and when it goes to two mark question they are going to ask you numericals only and the good thing is good news is the numericals which they are going to ask in gate exams are going to be very easy in this subject manufacturing subject okay but the problem is not with the numerical because i believe that if you have a basic idea about uh, all the subject the, the the complete manufacturing itself it's going to be easy with respect to numerical if you take casting welding or or machining or metrology whatever topic you take numericals are going to be easy but the problem with this manufacturing subject or what I could say, I won't say that it's a problem. The difficulty which the students are facing with this manufacturing subject is theory. It's going to contain tons and tons of theories, lots of theory. Okay, if you take only a single chapter itself, that single chapter will contain that much amount of theory that will be equivalent to theories which is present in some subjects. For example, the theories which is present in a subject like thermodynamics or fluid mechanics, that complete subjects theory will be equal to one or two chapters in manufacturing that is the difficulty which the students are going to feel and that is why uh, many students will be uh, more what i could say reluctant or they will be somewhat uh, they will have some fear with manufacturing subject but to be honest believe me if you just uh, go through the theory once or twice you will able to understand it easily because manufacturing is a subject which you can understand easily i will you have to accept that just by seeing the tool okay just if you see the drill tool you will able to see you will able to say what are the tools or what are the sorry what are the uh, parameters what are the geometry and from the geometry from the name you will able to identify what is significance and all those things will be related with your common sense and with your logic only nothing more than that of uh, nothing more than that okay but the question is okay sir i am understanding it i am reading it i understood it I concentrated on the theory, but I am facing a problem. What is the problem is? What is the problem? 
I'm understanding it fine, but I'm not able to uh, remember it, uh, remember it throughout because I, obviously I need to remember it, right? Just reading the theory and understanding this is not going to be enough. Okay, if you read something, if you read something about casting or if you read something about machining, you need to remember it because they might ask any questions in uh, in your final exam. For example, they will they will um, mention fail it. Okay, you will able to recollect. Okay, fail it is something, some material, but you won't able to recollect where we studied it. Okay, fail it is there, but where I studied that fail it. That type of doubts okay will come to your mind. The fact is. You have to, you will, you will, you should recollect where you studied and what it uh, signifies, what actually the fail it is. Okay, fail it is obviously a material. Okay, so you will be understanding it once if you go through casting and machining. Okay, what is the significance of all those things? I'm just giving you an example. In that manner, you might able to recollect the name, but you might not able to recollect its significance, or you might not able to recollect the uh, facts about it. So, what is the way? To handle it first let me discuss about the theoretical part okay how to handle the theoretical part of manufacturing simple straightforward way you need to make sure that you are making your short notes properly okay i have said about the short notes in many videos in my revision videos in my periodical revision video in the early videos also and even i made a separate video for short notes also but I'm not sure that how many of you are preparing short notes properly for manufacturing engineering. Because you might think that sir, manufacturing engineering is theory. So how can I prepare short notes for that? No, it is theory. That is why you need short notes properly for manufacturing engineering. I'm not asking you to, again, I'm not asking you to write the complete story. For example, let us take arc welding. Okay, arc welding. I'm not asking you to write a complete theory of arc welding. What is going to be the temperature range for uh, neutral flame? What is going to be the temperature range for oxidation fl uh, flame, carburizing flame? And um, what carburizing flame signifies? Okay, just like a uh, just like a note point. Okay, just a note which is going to contain some small, small note points instead of writing it like a story. If I say it in words, you won't be able to understand. I'm damn sure about it. So that is why I'm displaying you my short notes, which I prepared when I was preparing, okay, during during my preparation time. Okay, by going through this short notes, okay, I'm just displaying you it in the I, I'm just displaying you it in the screen. You'll be able to go through it. Just pause the video and you just go through it. You will be able to understand how I'm making the uh, what is that? How I am making the short notes. I'm not going to share this uh, short notes with you in uh, PDF or all those things. But what I want is, I don't want you to copy what I did. I want you to prepare your own short notes in your own way. Okay, that is what short notes is. It's not something which you will uh, copy it or you will buy it. Okay, so it's not going to work out. After attending the lecture, suppose if you are attending the lecture, you are attending the lecture, by seeing the lecture, you would have taken complete notes. Now, from complete notes, you need to concise it. You need to take some points. Okay. You don't need to write the definition of what is mean by arc welding and uh, what is the procedure of arc welding. No. But there are some significance, right? There will be some significance where I need to use it. What are the materials I need to use for arc welding? What should be the temperature range? I'm just giving you one example. Okay. And similarly, if you take some milling or drilling, okay, what it signifies? Suppose, um, uh, uh, suppose, in, uh, suppose, let us take a non-traditional machining process. There will be uh, n number of non-traditional machining process, right? Take one non-traditional machining process. What is the significance of that? Where I can use it? What is the material I'm using? What is the difference of this compared to other? Okay, what is the material removal rate of this? How I can compare the material removal rate of all the non-traditional machining process? So that is what important. I'm not asking you to write the story. You make it, you concise it, you reduce it into short form and write it such a way that you will understand it. I don't want you to write the complete story because already manufacturing, if you start writing it uh, by seeing the lectures or uh, uh, by self preparation also, the manufacturing, it's not go notes going to be a bundle. Okay, it's going to be 200 or 300 pages. So I don't want to replicate it again. If 10 pages are there, how you could extract that 10 pages information, information which is present in 10 pages into one page or two page. How you can do that? That is something which you need to think and that is something which you need to create. And this is going to helpful, very, very helpful for um, revising it, for remembering, uh, for remember, as I said, fail it, right? I've given you an example of fail it. 
you would have forgot okay what is mean by fail it but for example what you can do you can write fail it okay i'm just giving you an example uh, sand plus molten metal okay hard materials this is enough this one line is enough okay this one line is enough for understanding what actually it is it is saying failate is a component when sand get mixed with molten if you know the concept of course you need to know the complete theory if you know the theory if you know the concept just by reading this question you can you can you will able to understand what actually this failate is indicating sand is getting mixed with molten metal if it gets mixed with molten metal and if it gets solidified it will form a hard component called as failate and what is the disadvantage if this failure is present in the final molten metal that is final uh, product okay after manufacturing the final product when you start uh, machining it obviously casting process is a initial process and after that i will be machining it i will be doing the i will be doing machining okay by using lathe or some machining uh, tool when i'm going to machine it this failure might affect my tool bit you can include that also okay if you want to affect that tool uh, tool life you can just indicate it as tool life this is enough this is enough for uh, this you can write it in a very short way right you can just it will take very small space for representing this i want you guys to do that properly okay i don't want you guys to write tons and tons of theories in short notes i want you make it into short search that you will understand it and if you read it you'll be able to recollect many things okay and of course after writing the short notes you need to do the periodical revision you need to habituate it that is for sure okay that is for damn sure if you don't do that then writing short notes is useless okay if you don't do periodical revision then writing short notes is useless okay so i hope uh, this will help you okay and now coming to um, mathematical part okay that is the I, as of now i talked about theoretical part in manufacturing right mathematical part is going to be important because more than 50% of the question is going to be mathematical part and how you should uh, able to cover it it's very simple it's going the uh, manufacturing complete manufacturing itself going to contain very less number of formulas only you need to remember the formulas okay you need to remember the formulas more importantly in which formula in which unit i am applying okay suppose feed velocity i'm just giving you an example okay feed velocity f into m if i want to find out feed velocity what should be the sorry i will take it as vf okay feed velocity if i want what should be the uh, unit of feed what should be the unit of n if i substitute these things what what will be the unit of feed velocity i'm going to get okay, these are the things you need to keep it in your mind not only this if you take casting i'm just giving you an example whatever is coming to my mind if you take casting uh permeability number okay that's going to be mm, vh by pat okay in this particular formula okay, in this particular formula time should be substituted in minutes okay and uh, volume and all those things should be substituted in centi centimeter and grams okay that is weight mass unit should be grams and uh, and the normal length unit should be centimeter and uh, time unit should be um uh, minutes these are the things which you need to take care of because as i said you are going to contain only some bunch of formulas if you take if you take some 4a4 sheets you can write all the formulas of manufacturing in that 4a4 sheets that is enough for writing the formulas but remembering that only is not enough what is the formula and um, uh, what is the unit which i am using to get in what unit Okay, all these things are important when it comes to numerical. I'm just giving you a general idea. When it comes to numerical, there are many things. Once if you start solving the problems, then only you'll be able to understand. I'm giving you a general idea. Okay, majorly this video is meant uh, to make sure that you are preparing theory properly because problems are something I won't able to say it like uh, this is this is the only thing which you need to concentrate on. There are many things which you have to concentrate on, but you will understand it. once if you start solving the problems once if you start attending the lecture obviously uh, obviously that is what actually i also did when i was uh, teaching manufacturing the same thing what is actually to be covered what is actually to be uh, what are all the things which has to be taken care of when they are going to ask any questions especially in numericals okay right so i hope that uh, this video is going to be surely helpful okay if you are struggling in preparing manufacturing please try following this especially theoretical part which i was saying try following this it will work out okay try writing it writing it in a 
proper short manner okay and by writing it in a short manner you will able to recollect it because short note is something which you need to understand there is no necessary for others to understand so write it search away that you will understand it okay so yeah if this particular video is useful to you start uh, sorry share with other aspirants and uh, i hope that it will get i hope that they will also get benefited from this okay thank you